Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, I apologize for not being able to play this game uh, last week. The uh, truth of the matter is, I, as I said, the 2.0 upgrade was fantastic. It's done a lot of amazing things for the game, which I'm going to show you guys before we get started today. Um, the problem was that it took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to take for me to get back to where we were. So, I'm officially back to exactly where we were. We're standing in front of, uh, uh, Bubba Wells, uh, ha uh, bar, uh, Coyote. Um, and she's waiting inside to start the, uh, ofrenda ceremony for Jaquito. Uh, so we're hoping to, uh, get that done. But let me show you, now, here's the thing. I think I said this before, but the reason why I had to start over from scratch with our character is because the 2.0 upgrade made all older characters incompatible with the new game. So I literally could not open our old character anymore. So now, things haven't really changed much. I did change his look a little bit. He's still wearing the same suit. Uh, looking a little bit cooler with the glasses on, I think. But uh, you can see his hair is different. His face is a little different. Uh, earrings are probably different. But for the most part, he's the same purple rat, uh, just slightly different. Uh, the other thing that's changed is a lot. Look at this. This is how cyberware works now. As you can see, we have a cyberware capacity. If you go over capacity, there's a chance that you can literally turn cyber cycles. So you have to be careful and make sure you don't go above your capacity line. You literally cannot go above 95. So I'm pushing it at 93, but I've got... I've I'm following a guide that tells me exactly how I'm supposed to be able to do all this stuff. So as you can see, we've got our operating system, which is completely different by the way. Now you can literally upgrade, you literally upgrade your operating system and you get various, uh, options and tech things that you can use. As you can see, I'm currently tier 3, uh, I've got assist mode, I've got a whole bunch of, uh, slots and things, and I can it's just, it's amazing to see the, the differences for it. Uh, you can also, armor is specifically tied in to what you're using for your various options here. So armor goes up from here. The, your clothing really doesn't have any effect on your armor anymore. Uh, now as you can see, I still get better, this is still considered a better piece of clothing, uh, because as you can see, the green ones are all lower than the blue ones, etc., etc. But at the same time, this doesn't give me anything. There's no bonus to it whatsoever. You know, the only thing that's changing is the weight in my in my inventory. So it's really not that special. However, if you notice, this, even though it's white, it has a minus three visibility to enemies, which means it makes me, makes it harder for enemies to see me. This doesn't do anything for me, but it's blue. This gives me plus 7 quick hack damage resistance, and this gives me plus 5.5 quick hack upload time. So as you can see, even though the clothing doesn't do anything for armor, and it's literally just cosmetic now, it still gives you little bonuses here, depending on what you want to wear, which can be very helpful. Uh, we still got the outfit thing where you can choose and decide what your outfit is. Uh, I did start making an outfit here, but I got rid of it, and apparently getting rid of it doesn't make it go away, but that's fine, I'll, I'll make, I'll make another outfit later. Uh, you can also upgrade, like, your, your health and your stuff at Ripper Docs, like, you can get purchase upgrades for that, uh, all of this stuff, as you can see, it does very different things, there's bonuses at the bottom that tell you what else they do, besides what their actual stuff is. It also shows you the cost that it, that it can be. So this, wearing this costs 8 points towards my, uh, cyberware capacity. So that's why I'm close to maximum on fears, because I'm actually wearing quite a lot of cyberware. Uh, despite all that, I'm still only at, well, I have 129 of a possible 504 armor. So I'm not doing too well on the armor stuff right now, but I also haven't upgraded my more armor related pieces, you know, in a while. And I don't think I have the means to do that just yet. 
Well, the other thing is, crafting is completely different. Crafting, essentially, now, it's all one thing. So, you get this, you get tier 1 components, you can upgrade those tier 1 components to tier 2 components. Well, not with cyberware, but, yeah, tier 2 components. You can upgrade tier 2 components to tier 3 components, and so on and so forth, until you get up to tier 5. And that's how you do crafting now, is that you basically can just use one kind of component, or the upgraded version of that one kind of component, which is very nice, and very easy, and makes things, uh, pleasant. Now, here's the big thing, here's the, the big kicker. Uh, we have this, uh, uh, perk tree here. Uh, the attributes are actually, you can reset your attributes one time. And unfortunately, I already had to do this because the guy that I was following, uh, changed before I had the option to do anything with it. So, basically at this point, uh, I'm right on track, I'm doing everything that I can. But check this out. Skill tree is completely different, completely changed. Uh, let's see, optimization, uh, basically the, the build that I'm currently running, is designed around using overclock, which means that if I press L1 and R1, I can start using health to use more quick hacks, which means that I can use as many quick hacks as possible to get as many quick hacks over, overdone and using as fast as possible, but I run out of health. Now, the other th so the other thing though is that I have things set up so that when overclock is active, I gain health. So a lot of times I'll spend all of my health on doing quick hacks while I'm hiding somewhere, and then I'll kill most of my uh, enemies, and then it'll regenerate my health back to maximum. So I wouldn't say I'm invincible, but for the most part I'm very, very safe spending all of my energy and money, or uh, all of my health on quick hacks. Now the other thing is that quick hacks can stack now. You can literally put as many, well, not as many, but you can literally put a ton of quick hacks in sequential order. So if you see here, I unlocked this, which allowed me two quick hacks on a single enemy. So I can literally stand and look at an enemy and add two quick hacks. So that means that I can use, uh, shock and, uh, or overheat and, um, what's my favorite one called, uh, Blah, 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 uh, here it is, Contagion, Contagion and Overheat at the same time. Uh, so that's, that's a lot of fun to do, is that you can just combine quick hacks. Apparently, combining certain quick hacks can cause secondary effects. For example, combining, using, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, blah, 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 the one that I just said, uh, Contagion with, uh, Overheat will, cause contagion to burn out because obviously you're giving someone an illness and then you're giving them a fever. Fevers destroy illnesses. So, you essentially uh, get rid of that um, uh, illness, but it also reacts to the, the overheat also reacts to contagion and causes the person you're targeting to explode. So everyone around them is suddenly exploding. So everyone around them is suddenly taking explosion damage. Plus, since you use contagion and contagion spreads to other people, they're also taking damage from contagion. So it's an awesome little setup that I've got that I'm following. And as you can see, I'm already up high enough level that I have uh, the three quick hacks that you can use that I can use in sequential order. So I'm doing that right now. Eventually I'm probably going to lock this, which will give me four quick hacks in sequential order. Uh, I think the last thing I got was Q prioritization, which uploads a lot faster. So yeah, it's, it's an amazing new setup. And the other thing is, is that I'm following this person's design, and they give you options into weapons you can use as well. So after I'm done with this, I'm going to focus on technical ability and reflexes, so I can get what I need to make the other half of my character a sniper build. So once again, I'm doing sharpshooter and, but it's a focus on quick hacks. So, and we are, they also found a way to make the quick hack stuff stealthy as well. So I'm going to implement that as well, so that way I can uh, keep myself safe. Because 
when I started the quick hack thing, immediately every time that I was fighting someone with quick hacks, they would immediately locate, start trying to locate me, which tells you that they completely redid that, so it's not just something that will occasionally occur, it is immediate, because everybody's expecting quick hacks now, and that makes sense. If you're cyber, if you're fighting someone site over uh, cyberware, then the first thing they're going to do is search for that, for whatever attacked them. So it absolutely makes sense that they would do that and start targeting you, which means that it's a lot harder to make a stealth quick hack build. However, they, there is a way to do it, so I'm going to be doing that as one, at some point as well. Anyway, I've talked about the mechanics enough, we're going to get back into the game now. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. Alright, let's go and memorialize our friend that we got killed. Well, David, we got to get rid of him. Really? He's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. Alright, hello, Mama Wilson. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, okay. too. Sit. Sit. You want a beer? No, okay. Good, thanks. No, Drinking a lot at the funeral. A lot of time has passed. How you been? I've never been better. Been better, to tell you the truth. Which what is sense. happening? At night, when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. That's pretty sabemos de Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure, so beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> And there will be beer. Of course. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket... That'd do justice to his memory of it. I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Good Toma, take the key. Oh, right. thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I eat the bail. Of course. I do like the fact that you can play these video games now. And they shut some of them. Play Ranch Raid. Ranch Race is the only one I can play. Alright. Yes. I'll have to do that at some point. Probably off camera. Alright, let's see here. Going to the garage, and there's a Misty in front of this place. Ivy. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. Good point. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well, 
human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Every time I wear my jacket, they always roll up sleeves. And it always makes me think that I'm wearing the wrong jacket. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. Yeah. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. Yeah. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. You two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Yeah. That's way more important. Scan and search the garage. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. Mm. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Of course. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. It's a fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched. Loved to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's, That's definitely much. why they're up there. Yeah. <laughs> For whom the bell tolls. Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He Gosh. said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Yeah, it would. Jackie's key. Key to Jackie's room. Hold on. I want to scan this first. Full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Hmm. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Locked. 
I wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere. Found it. Should be it. Oh, Jackie. That a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle. A home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Isn't it just a little, uh, janky? <laughs> it's hideous, <laughs> but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. There you go. Alright, this has money in it. I'm taking that money. I'm gonna need it. Ooh. Dio de los Muertos. An aquarium. Used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty <laughs> expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Of course he didn't buy it. Alright, let's see here. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. I told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. Nice still. That's all messy, of course. I'm gonna use the computer first, check messages. Jackie, my man, you won't believe your luck. The collector's selling in beauty and cream condition. Price is good, it's a little over your budget. Let me know if you're interested, because if you are, it'll go to someone else. Peace, sit. That's when he got his bike. Ah, uh, Victor. Okay. Dex, uh, that's for you and V. Uh, from T-Bag, talking about Dexter to show him. Oops, wrong one. I want to jack in, because I can use some more eddies and materials for building stuff. Alright, let's see. Okay, I can't start with 55, but I do, I can do 1C, then 55. Alright. 1C, 55. 1C. 1C, 55 BD. So I could do it that way. Let's try it. 1C. 55. 1C. Oh, crap. Um, 1C. 1C. Okay, that was the best I was gonna do. It was 1C one, one behind. I hate 500 bucks. Is worth it. Let's see. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's. Of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. No. And then the belt. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. See, that belt, I think, would be, like, the, the most 
emotional thing to put on there. But that's not what we're going for here. We're going for something to remember him by. This is a story worth remembering. This is like a reminder of past trauma. And I don't want to bring that up at a funeral for somebody. A book is actually a good idea as well. I usually take the alcohol, but I think I'm going to go with the book this time. Jack, pure and simple. Not a big fan of having way. Well, something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. No, I've seen all that I can see here. I don't think there's anything else, unless it's money related. All right, let's go. Better get going. Actually, the I think I'll stay a while. Say. Why do I keep getting text messages during cutscenes? What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What'd she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Ah. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. Yeah, I'd rather not does. get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. Let's go. So? Shall we go? Yep. You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Well, Meaning? Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Which is unfortunate because being here is a terrible thing. <laughs> the only reason why I'm thriving is because I'm quite literally basically murdering everybody that I need to murder to get what I need. Here we go. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. Here's the Padre. V. Hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. Hey, Victor. Glad to see you. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot. Three times. Just by the heart. Mm. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. Mm. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> okay. Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Here comes Vic. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. 
Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. Feels like it happened a century ago. At another time. In another place. Jackie saved my life. And then... Years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him, Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He always knew what he wanted, and he took it without asking. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve. He didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And, and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching... I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chu. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Jackie. Thank you for your kind words, B. I'm yes. glad you're here. It was a beautiful ofrenda we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie Gosh. would want you to have these. You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Thank you, my boys. Honestly, that's usually the reason why I take this and do it as soon as possible is because, um, I need a ride. I literally need a, a ride. There's that cube again. Uh, so yeah, I usually do this one so I can get Jackie's uh, motorcycle so I can use a vehicle of some kind. But ultimately, it's like the most emotional thing about this game. It's beautiful how they did that. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, I think I'm just still in that garage mentally. I just need a sec. Yes. Take all the time you need. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to all the people. 
Probably it's first on the list. Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he has torn up after you die. Oh, Chica. Yeah. Don't go starting something, eh? Not today. Alright, let's talk to the Padre. You, uh, here to say goodbye to one of your own? Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. My apologies. Jackie, uh, do you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us? From up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it. I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Hmm. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Thank you, Padre. Okay, next I definitely want to talk to Victor. Oh, I guess Valentino's are next. Which is fine, either way. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? Of course. All right, why not? To Wells! He rest in peace. Absolutely. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. Yeah. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Aye, right, give me a break. <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay, then. Would you another? For Jaquito? Of course. Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Poor. For Jackie. Hey, Amen. Right. That's three shots of tequila. Okay, let's talk to get a new We can tell. But, I gotta take one more. I'm gonna miss him. Already do. <laughs> Me too, Cabron. Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. All right, that's the fourth. A proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should. Mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. All right, Look now... Look, been handling the loss pretty good. She's a strong woman. Okay, then. I'm gonna go into my inventory, since I drank a whole bunch of alcohol. The best chaser for said alcohol. Souvenir license plate. Uh, no, I'm just gonna disassemble all the junk in here while I'm at it, because I can use the extra components. Now we're going to consumables. Alright, we're going to eat ourselves a burrito. And we're going to drink ourselves cactus juice. It'll quench ya. It's the quenchiest. Now we're going to drink some water. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where's the water? Sparkling. There we go, sparkling water. Carbonated water. Alright. So we eat and drink so that we don't remain drunk. And now we just leave the bar. And that finishes that mission. 
Okay, Gunny, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you had a wonderful time, as always. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, it helps us out every day. Thank you so much, Gunny. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you had a wonderful time, as always. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, it helps us out every day. And don't get assassinated.